it's Susan with the Carnegie Library and I'm here with another book review for you. Today I want to discuss The Girl Before by J.P. Delaney. This is quite the exciting thriller. J.P. Delaney always writes some really um, good books that keep you turning the pages to try to find out what happens in the end. And this story goes between two different points of view. One is of Emma and one is of Jane. Emma's story kind of comes first and Jane comes along behind her, but their stories are told in alternating point of views. It's just in two different times. And this is a story about a house at one Fulgate Street. And this house has been built by a architect who really likes the minimalist style. So this house is very strange. And so when each of the women go to consider renting it, they find out there's a lot of different rules and regulations. And it's a long lease that they have to sign and they have to agree to do all this stuff. So this is an extensive application process. You can't just go and rent it. You actually have to meet with this architect whose name is Edward Monkford. He's very picky about the people he lets in and the leasing agents don't really know what the reasoning is behind it, but they're just doing as they're told. So it's interesting to see how these two different women react to one Fulgate place. And you start wondering if there's something really going on with this architect, he seems a little strange. He likes things a different way. So Emma and Jane start finding out things about the house and about Edward, and it gets really creepy because this house is actually also a smart house. So it kind of keeps track of your movements and that starts freaking both of the women out. So I don't wanna say much more because we'll get into some of the twists that come about, but this book was really, really good. I highly recommend it, The Girl Before. Let's talk about the cover. I really like this. Those are the stairs of the house. You can see how there's just this minimalist design of what the house looks like. It's really awesome. I actually listened to this one as an audiobook which I really enjoyed. Sometimes you just want to listen to an audiobook because you can do audiobooks while you're cleaning or doing other things. So I definitely enjoy listening to an audiobook every once in a while. So that's how I read this book. But we will have the physical copy here at the Carnegie for you on our special shelf. So come in, check it out. Let us know what you think about it. Um, I know I've been reviewing a lot of thrillers lately, but that's because that's mostly what I'm reading now. So I'll try to find another genre soon, but definitely check this one out if you want a book that will sweep you away and a book that will make you keep turning the pages. So hope you enjoyed this book review and we'll see you again soon.